in the studio with Chris and DJ Rec Boy Shot. You know we in the stew, in the streets or in the booth Get in tune, click and view and get into the interview Behind the scenes of all your dreams and everyone you listen to Underground or on the scene, you might catch a gem or two 845 or worldwide, digital or physical On the block or in the news, we understand we did it too Promote yourself or get a budget, gotta learn the do's and dozens Gotta learn when to bet it, if we said it, you can trust it Cause you're now in the studio with Chris and DJ Rec Boy Shot. What's snapping, my people? You already know what it is. DJ Rep Boy Shot, the homie Chris in the studio. We back at it on a Friday. You know, Fridays are special days. Strictly interviews, no videos. But um, we got the big homie, Phantom of the Beat, waiting in the green room. Chris, what's up, man? You looking down, man. I know you're tired, but shit, man. It's Friday, nigga. Nah, nah, it's nah. I'm over here. You already know what I'm doing, kid. I'm working. I'm sharing the show, inviting people, letting them know who in the building. You know, it ain't it ain't every night. You got high G, aka fan of the beat of UMCs, you know, tapping in, letting us know what's going on. He just dropped a new joint, just did the studio, got the label. So we're going to touch on all that tonight. We're going to talk about all that tonight. He hit us up. He hit us up and basically told you, I got to go to this street now. I gotta go to the studio in a little bit, so you know, let's let's get it popping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We ain't gonna play no games. We gonna bring the big homie on. Nah, you already know. What's shaking, homie? What's snapping? How you feeling? One, two, three. Phantom of the beat, high G. Heat for the street. What it do? What it do? Right, boys. What? What? What's shaking? Good. Um, before we get into it, let the people know who you are, what you do, and why you are here, homie. Uh, I'm here because we belong here. It was written. Yo, I'm Haas G, UMCs, Phantom with the Beat, Heat for the Street, all day, every day, rocking with the Reg Boys. We here to spread that light, you know what I mean, on, on what's so dim right now, the earth, the world, you know what I mean? We're going to give y'all what y'all need. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, Chris, we're shaking, homie, man. Yeah, look at my man. homie. My homie look tired. Yeah. He beat. Nah, I'm sure I'm sharing the show, but I was thinking as he was saying, I'm like, yo, damn, I'm gonna still let him make a drop out of that. Like that that was <laughs> <laughs> that was dope. We definitely gonna make a drop yo. out of that. Now, but yo, what happened? What happened, King? Nah, I sympathize with you, trust me. I probably got a couple of bags under my eyes right now. But that's that's from hard work and running around and doing what we're supposed to do, especially now because if we don't take advantage of it now, you know what I'm saying? By the time right. it really do pop off, and when the gates are open, we're going to be behind. So we ain't trying to be behind. We're trying to speed up and be in front of it all right now. So don't worry about that. Let's just get it. Yeah, just get it where you can get it. That's it, man. Figure like that I out. Told, like I told wifey, I worked yesterday. It was like 14 hours. Today I put in another 10, 12 hours, and I came home. She's like, you going to sleep? I'm like, no, nah, we got has ye on. She's like... Oh, you working again? I'm like, yeah, we ain't playing no game. And I made a beat the other night. So she's like, she really like, damn, it's that time again? You know what I mean? I'm like, yeah, now, nah. you know, first quarter comes you, around. It's time It's time to go to work. Like, you know what I'm saying? Absolutely, Chris, you just, you, you did better than me. I, um, I, literally, I just woke up from taking a nap. I did an electrical job early this morning and got in like about four or five o'clock. And I said, uh oh, I got to be on at six. And I, I looked, I double checked, and it was like, nah, you got till seven. I said, all right, cool. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice, 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 nice. So, um, you know, right, let's talk. Go ahead, go ahead. The power naps, man. We got to catch some power naps, man. Right. Yo, right, listen, right. I love them. I love them. Niggas look at me like I'm old. I'm like, yo, listen, if I can get one in, my nigga, I'm good for the rest of the day. If I can get one in, yeah, no, 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 it's it's it's, it's definitely good money. It's yeah, definitely for me, good money. for me, those power naps kill me, man. I like no, I, right for now, some people it's like right that. now I'm on this. If I take a power nap, when I get up, I feel like shit. I'm like, damn, I should have never went to sleep. Nah, you I gotta just, take it at the I right time. Going. That's the secret. That's the secret. You gotta take it at the right time so that you can balance everything out. That's the secret. Right. Real. You eat, you eat a little, you eat a little food. You know what I mean? You drink your water or whatever. Take that quick nap and get right up yeah. and ready to go. Absolutely. That's exactly how you do it too. Exactly. What's the I word? What's the word? So um so last time we had you on, we had you on for the producer event. And you know what I mean? Um, yeah. What, what you thought about that real quick before we get into everything? What what was your input? Because I know we spoke after that 
we spoke a couple times after that, but I never really got to pick your brain to see like how you was feeling about it and this whole, you know, this whole everything that's going on now and how we presented it to everybody. I mean, it's a, it's a, y'all, y'all got a platform that's, you know, that's, that's very, very necessary. And um, the producers event was really, really dope because, you know, we got to feel it out. We got to hear it. You know what I mean? We got to talk about it. Um, I, I think that's something that should continuously go on because, you know, it's an open market right now. And um, we have we have the advantage, you know, especially now we got the advantage. So I think that should continue to go. You know, don't don't wet that. Just keep doing what you do. Like everything that that happened and that transpired and that blew up, you know, from from a thought, from a suggestion you know, just from a, a quick movement, you know, those are the good things. And that's what that was last time. And I had fun. I enjoyed it. And it was beautiful. No, that Yo, was dope. you know, you know, what's really dope. Shout out to the homie JL world. Shout out to everybody that's tuned in. If you could like, share, comment. Um, if you got some questions for the big homie, yo, submit them. We're going to put them on the screen. He's, um, he's a real humble brother. He'll get, he'll give you all the info you need to get, you know, um, but I was chopping it up at the barbershop today, and uh, I was chopping it up with Damo. And I've been telling them, um, yo, come through, my dude, man. Like, he was asking for the atmosphere. You know, he make beats and shit. So I'm like, yo, just come through, my nigga. I got the hard drive. Just come through. I give it to you. So he was like, yo, so when are you going to do another producer of the, uh, Battle of the Beast joint? And I'm like, yo, it's funny you say that because I got the big homie who kind of, um, you know, started the whole, you know, he was in on the start coming on tonight. So he was like, um... Not not Amadeus, not not Jimmy, not arsonist, but I'm like, yeah, Phantom. He was like, yeah, 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 yeah. He was like, no, you know what I'm talking about. I just couldn't remember his name. You get what I'm saying? Like he was like, you know, something from the old school joint, you know, something who did the fifty joint. I'm like, yeah, Phantom. So it, it was like it, and it's dope because like I say, he don't um we don't usually chop it up about the show like that. You get what I'm saying? Like a lot of people that mm -hmm. I normally see, you know, is half of them might know that I do the show. And the other mm -hmm. half would be like, yo, oh, snap, I seen you on, you know, I didn't know, blah, 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 whatever, whatever. But he's real in tune. And for him to actually distinguishly pick out you is mm -hmm. super dope. Because that means he was, like I said, I don't deal with this kid on a, this guy on a regular basis. So and for him younger. to remember. He's he younger, too. Yeah, yeah. And, he and he's not even. The funny thing was, is he, he started doing the music thing before me and Chris were doing the mu music thing. So when right. he sees us doing it now and us giving the platform and the, and the and and the connects that we're making, he's like, "Yo, dude, I really want in." You know what I'm saying? So and out of all of the producers, which was like kind of weird, he was like, "Nah, son." And I'm naming everybody. And I'm naming everybody that everybody figuratively knows. You know what I'm saying? But then he's like, right. "No, son." And I'm like, "Phantom." He's like. That's him. That's him. And I was like, yeah, man, two minutes tonight. We got him. So that that right there was like super, super dope, homie. I mean, it, it's things like that that um, I don't know how to put it. No matter what, as humans, you know, we, we are still susceptible to our egos sometimes. You know, Absolutely. it's just a matter of not to let your ego, you know, supersede you. You know what I mean? So... That right there was a blessing to my ego, but meaning I feel good by by things like that happening, you know, right, not right. not you know over overpower overpowered by it, but it feels good when you know how to use your ego that way. That means you're gonna spread more love. You know what I'm absolutely. saying? Because no, 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 that's absolutely. love. That's love that was spread. So if yeah. I could do that. And make a move like that and inspire somebody or or they can remember me and, and remember the words that I said or, or you know what I mean? Get that in their head and, and actually pull it out of the pull it out of the, 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 the woodwork. That's good. That's an accomplishment. You know what I mean? No, that's that's what, and that's why I, I, I brought it up because it it was like, damn man, he he remembered out of everything that we did after that. Like, yo, dude, we don't have the beat battles. We don't have a uh, virtual concert. We don't have had all types of shit go on since that. But he distinctively remembered you and you being on the show. And that's what got his juices flowing 
to be like, yo, listen, I really want to get back into this. Yo, so that's to, um go ahead. Think about it. This is your third time on. Yeah. That's yeah. yeah. But you, but you know, I, I love y'all. So, you know, whenever whenever MJ points the you know what I mean, whenever she points yeah. the red dot and says it's the Red Boys. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna wreck with the Red Boys. That's what it is. No, 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 no. So, that's what so it let's is. Get, let, let's get into the bread and butter. So we spoke. Yeah, that's another. That's a that's 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 another drop right there. You heard that, right? Whatever. Yeah, 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 whatever you know, it's the Red Boys. <laughs> best believe. Best believe. Best believe. Best believe. Now, yeah, you know, whatever. Whatever MJ say, the red dot is on the Red Boys. I'm a wreck with the Red Boys. That's it. That's it. That's what we do, though. And and it's dope that we have that 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 connection because a lot of people mm -hmm. don't know. Like it's a it's like a triangle offense, you know. MJ, us, and then her team over there, and everybody that that's come our way through MJ has always been genuine and always show love from Rampage, mm -hmm. Cass, you. Mm -hmm. It's like it's mm -hmm. all. All, it's all genuine love and it's never a one time thing. It's always like, yo, we meet up, we come up with something during the meetup, and then it's like, all right, so now it makes us have to now let's build. Here. We build them on that. Absolutely. Right. So Absolutely. Let, me, let me ask you this question before we get into to everything else. Uh, the homie J. Ray says, Is it better to be good at making music or fake at making whack and real? What's your soul tell you? That's Boy Blake. What does your soul tell you? Well, My soul tell me it's better to be good at making good music, period. I can't be whack and make fake because at the end of the day, I got to live that kind of life. I got to be fake. You understand what I'm saying? And I, I'm not built like that. You know, I'm a warrior. I'm a soldier. So it, everything I do got to be real. With, with all of the people that you've actually worked with, and um, you know, um, you seen you, uh, dude, from freaking <laughs> from the from your from your rookie year to now, you know, seeing everything, you know, seeing two generations, three generations of 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 hip hop. Um, there are some that that are okay with faking it. There's a there's a bunch of them that are okay with faking it. And no no um, no, and I mean, and actually, and like they they're okay. I mean, I mean. I mean, they're not doing bad. They're not doing good. But I mean, it's something internally that they got to deal with. What I'm saying is, is like, like yeah. what you said from the beginning is like your soul tells you that, yo, listen, I got to This is what is coming out of me. So if your soul or whatever else that you in tune with is, is pulling you in a different direction, then it might be. I mean, all actual is still your soul. It's just whatever I mean, you in tune to. At the end of the day. If we may go deeper into the spirituality of, of, of how we live in and, and what's going on in the world, you know what I mean? You know, you, you got your mystics, you got your shamans, you got your your witches, you got all of that here on earth. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, what's your soul talking to you about? You know, you know, that's why they tell you sometimes, keep your mouth shut, be quiet, stay silent, and listen to your heart. You understand what I'm saying? Right, right. That's a real, that's a real thing. You know what I mean? That's a really real thing. And, you know, each man is his own judge. You know, it's like some feel good to be walking the dark side. Some feel good to be, you know, walking that's in, what I'm in, saying. In, the, Absolutely. in the light. So, you know, it, you know, without darkness, there would be no light. Without light, there'll be no darkness. You know what I'm saying? So it's the same. You know what I mean? It's just, what do you feel comfortable in doing? And how long do you think it's going to last? And what do you think the payoff is going to be at the end of the day? Right, right. Gotcha. What's your end goal? And, and so, deal, and deal, deal with this, deal with the consequences. Yo, that is that is major because I I preach that to I got two young men, you know, my sons, and I preach that to them more than anything. Like, yo, dude, I don't care what decision you make as long as you're willing to hand up to whatever consequences come down to it and you gotta and, own and, up to it yeah and you i let them know up to it and i let them know that like some things y'all y'all little niggas ain't built to own up to so let's you know what i'm saying so know the difference now before you step out of this house know what you built for and know what you're not built for and hopefully you know what i'm saying that'll keep you in 
in, in your realm of the the, the right decision making. Yeah, here's the here's the here's the slick here's a slick one right here. And, and I don't condone violence on women. I don't condone none of that. But here's a slick one. Say you got a say you got a sister, and you you know your sister's going to school every day. You know what I mean? And you you what? You her big brother, right? And and there's there's dudes her age, you know, close to her age or whatever, and they always taunting her, always bothering her when she goes to school, you know what I mean? Or tries to come home from school, you know, and then she finally ends up telling you, you know what I mean? What are you going to do? You are going to go out there and you're going to put the whipping on them. But guess yeah. what? They didn't realize she has, she got team, she got a brother, she got family. So whatever you do to her, you know, you're going to suffer those consequences. You understand what I'm saying? Absolutely. And that's the same thing. That's how we move in the world. Whatever you Absolutely. do to that girl, you're going to catch it. It's going to come back at you. Absolutely. No, no, no. Listen, um, no, nah, that's that's A1. That's A, A1. Me and Chris have both been in situations to where, you know, um, baby sis call and, and that be the situation. Like, niggas really didn't know, oh, she got brothers or she has they don't brothers. get it. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 absolutely, and, and that be that right there be where the fuckery comes in that, and that may turn a situation where you're not thinking towards the end or the bigger picture. But no, 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 absolutely. Nah, you didn't see at all. That's the yeah. whole thing. Well, yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean, eventually, eventually, you gonna find out. I mean, my, in any situation with my sister, any of my sisters, that's. I mean, it is what it is, you know. And I, even even when they, you know, I'm. My father wasn't, you know, in the picture. So everybody always came to me. And and, and it was like, yo, listen, no, 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 absolutely. Yo, listen. You, it, you, yeah, no. You. And it, and they were like, yo, this is my boyfriend and whatever. And I used to have to tell them, like, yo, listen, um, doesn't matter how cool me and you get. If she calls me, just know what it is. And I don't care. And and I got feisty sisters. My sister, mm -hmm. like get, yeah, no, they get spicy, spicy. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it's like, and I tell them, yo, listen, if you can't deal with that, my dude, don't even walk that don't. path. Yeah, yo, listen, and my sisters know. Well, there you go. That's it. That's the metaphor right there. You just hit it in the head. If you can't deal with it, don't even walk that path. And that's yeah, yeah. how. But that's you know it. For the you know, you know what the problem be? A lot of people think they're ready for whatever's gonna come and they really not ready. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 then, and, then, and then you know what? Yo, and then it's oh, it didn't have to go that way. And it'd be like, yo, no, no it yeah. did have to go that way yeah. because you made the decision. You get what I'm saying? So it's like, but um no, nah, so, yeah, and that's yeah, yeah. those are the lessons. That's the lesson that you gotta learn. Absolutely. And then I guess absolutely. guess what? You're not gonna move that way no more. Yeah, yeah, no, if, no, no, absolutely. If, absolutely. if you got a if you got a brain on your shoulder, you're not gonna absolutely. move that way no more. Yeah, absolutely. once you get a couple bumps and bruises. So um after the beat battle, we exchanged we exchanged numbers, we spoke. I think it was like the next day we spoke, and um mm -hmm. you told me you build the studio. You know what I mean? And mm -hmm. then I'm like, Well, you build the studio, then you told me I got the label, just keep tight. So let, let's let's talk about all that because I remember getting off the phone with you and hitting shot, like yo, if it wasn't if it wasn't what's going on right now, I'd be on a plane. Cause I just got invited to the stool. I will pick you up when we over there. So let's let's elaborate <laughs> on that. And I've seen the pictures. It came out dope, by the way. I've seen the videos. Look crazy. Oh, oh, copy, copy. Good looking. So yeah, since then I've been um I just been working on the studio. Um, you know, I got I got my team. Um, we downtown Manhattan. You know what I mean? And um, beautiful, just a beautiful area. And uh, we was putting it together. As of now, all we've been doing was a few podcasts by um, my man, DJ Cool Kid. He's out of New York. And um, Cool Kid, Turn Up Radio, they've been doing their podcasts out of the studio. You know, the studio's slick. It's fly, you know, nice, nice massage chairs, pool table, uh, you know, flat screens. Looking good, you know what I mean? If, if y'all hit my Instagram or actually DJ Cool Kid's Instagram, You'll see, you'll see a whole bunch of everything going on in there. We had a bunch of artists come through. We had a couple of listening parties. Um, my cousin Akinelli came through with um with um you know a couple of artists, uh Empire Records, they came through, you know. It was a, a few things going on since then. 
So I haven't even actually started physically recording yet. You know, I was doing a lot of wiring and getting everything ready, you know. So now it's everything is 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 precise. Everything is good, geared up. So what I'm going to do now is um, I'll probably start recording, you know, just bringing in really, really exclusive artists in there because that's the type of studio it is. It's a boutique studio. So it's not, you know, the average run of the mill where you got a whole bunch of different groups running through at the same time. Now, nah, this is exclusive. You know, you lock the doors, you shut it down. It's a nice loft and it's just you and your team in there, you know. So that's set up. Um, in the mean, in the meantime, while I was doing that, I was um, working on my label deal with um, Who Mag Sony Orchard, and um, so I got my own label imprint. Where um, actually today is the first day that I put out. Um, me and my partners, we put out the first record, you know, by uh, one of our first premier artists. So today is a birthday for me. You know, what nice, I mean? nice, you know? and you're here with us. Yeah, so yeah, 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 yeah. That's even more super dope. Nah, nah, nah that's super, yeah. super dope. Super dope. Yeah. We actually got the single anyway. We got we gonna play the joint. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, 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 you know, yeah. MJ, MJ was not playing. She said, Y'all send it to the evening, make sure you get them. Like, I got you. Like, I felt like if she had the joint <laughs> in her hand, it would have been in my head. Like, I'm like, Y'all like, got you. That's not a problem. <laughs> Yo, MJ, MJ is, you know, she's a breath of fresh air. Like, as as far as a, a publicist, you know what I mean? She um I remember when I started with her and, you know, she already painted the picture as well as I did. You know, I said what I want to do, how I want to do it. And will you be of it, any assistance? And she said, what? What? Don't even worry about it. Let's do it. And we took off from there. And ever since then, I, and I watched, you know how you watch when you go back, you see the the, yeah, the you know how yeah, you, yeah, no, the, no, yeah, the yeah, growth absolutely absolutely the excelling and um I, I go back and in a little bit amount of time it still was enough time but in a small amount of time I saw the growth you know what I mean so that that went to show me that all I had to do was put my foot forward because I was already established and right. I have to have the right team and the right people you know what I mean and I got to give to them you know, the same as they got to give to me and we should be able to move, you know, quicker than what we did last time. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. that's how I look at it. It's crazy. Yeah, you know what, we're going to have to get on, MJ on the show. Yeah. Hold, hold on, Sean. We're going to get to We're going to definitely get to that because we were supposed to get on. But I like how he snuck in. So my cousin, Akinelli. I caught yeah, that. I know. <laughs> no, but, but, but like, you got to like, remember. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, no, no, no. But remember, he told the story about how he got into rap and you know the record put it in my mind but he didn't tell us that that was his cousin when he first right. told us the story though know? so uh, yeah 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 no, you right yeah you know you was know funny i didn't even know he was my cousin when i heard the song but then again yeah, i had really? to think about it yeah because we was you know we we grew up as kids but as we got older and i moved to staten island he was still out in queens you know, we, we was getting older doing our own thing. You know what I mean? Right. So right. it's not like we was those cousins that hung out every day together. You know, we, right. we hung out for a certain period of our lives. And then, you know, we, we went and took care of our own lives. And then the next thing you know, he's a rapper. I'm a rapper. But I'm saying to myself, when I heard live at the barbecue um, from the main source, I'm like, how many people out there is named Akinelli? Right. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, right, and I'm right, like, right. yo, is that Ock? And that's how I realized, yo, that's my cousin, Ock. And then wow. we reconnected. We reconnected again. And it was like, yo. And then he was like, I didn't even know you was UMCs. Until we was on the tour bus together. It was Main Source, UMCs. And Main okay. Source, brought, they brought Nas and Ock because they did that live at the barbecue record. They right, brought them right. on tour. Right. And while they was on tour, we was all on tour on the same tour bus together. So you already know what time we had. You yeah. already know yeah, how I we was imagine. getting down. Yeah, back back then too. Yeah, I can imagine. Yeah, yeah that yeah. that was yeah. that was a that was now that's one of those feelings in hip hop that I have that nobody else can relate to. It's weird, you know what I mean? I'm on the tour right. bus with my cousin and did not know it was my cousin. 
Yeah, and yeah, and but but not only that, but you're in the essence of like literally making history. Like like you're literally yeah. out on the road hitting these places. Like this is never gonna be duplicated again. You get nah. what I'm saying? Like like nah. like like live at the barbecue was hitting. Be, like you get what oh, I'm saying? Like man. everything was clicking, and to be like. Yo, damn, you're out on tour and you getting your money from the things that you did. And then you're like, damn, this is my oh shit. Why? Yeah, I can. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. I can imagine. That, yo, that feeling was ill. That feeling was ill. Yo, when he got on that bus and we saw each other, we was like, oh, you already know what's going to happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, yeah. you know what time it is. Yeah. And he was no, like, no, no, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 No, 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 no. Absolutely. So, um, absolutely. So, so back to the label. How many artists you got? How many artists on the roster right now? Um, as of now, I got my first uh three lineups. So I got I got a um I got a female singer, I got uh a rapper, I got two rappers actually. I got a young boy rapper and another young boy rapper. So, you know, they're 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 getting lined up, they're getting geared up, you know what I mean? I decided to take one of my young boy rappers and you know, just just Ali Up it and say, yo, this is gonna be that single right here. You know what I mean? And when I say right. young boy, when I say young boys, they're younger than me. You know what I mean? Right. They don't necessarily right. it don't mean that they're, you know, sixteen, seventeen year old young boys. I still right. call young anybody younger than me, you know what I mean? I still call them young boys, young champions, you know what I mean? Especially if they got they got some seasoning. I'm good with that. You know what I mean? Right, right. We'll right. we'll figure it out from there. But I don't I'm not looking for no 16, 17 year olds right now. Not just yet. You know what I mean? I'm sure that'll it'll come, it'll come, it'll happen. But right now, I need seasoned guys that know what they're doing. So I don't have to really, really, you know, uh lecture you or to you, babysit yeah, you or none of hands. that. Yeah, no, no, no. That's yeah, yeah, no, that's you know, such a fucking turn off. Like real talk. You know how but, we um, move. Yeah, no, nah, no, nah, real quick. Um, one of the viewers want to know what are the rapper and singer names. Shout them out, the people, and what's their IG? People want to know what's up. People want to get in tune early. Oh uh, man, I was well, I was waiting for the single to, to blast off before I said that particular rapper's name. But um um I got I got a female, her name is Kathy Swain. Um, she's from Ohio. You know, it's it's a whole, it's a different vibe. You know what I mean? Like, rap is my my love and my passion, but production is what I do. You know what I'm saying? So she's a, um, you know, she's a female, uh, white, white singer. You know what I mean? She's banging. Her art craft is crazy serious. Um, nice. I don't like to really compare her, but. You know, I think she's gonna come off as a just for the people out there who 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 need some sort of uh guideline to go by, you know, an Adele, uh, uh Amy Winehouse. Uh, so then she yeah. just sang because that was my question. My question was oh. like, can she sing or or are you just going the pop vibe? You know, uh, oh no, type, she, type. she could she could sing. Nah, because you said you said Adele and Amy Winehouse. Adele and Amy yeah. Winehouse, they. They can sing. They, those those are a different type of white girls. Those are yeah yeah yeah. So no no no. I'm just keeping it a buck. I'm just keeping it a buck. And you're a producer, so I know. I already know. Her favorites, her her favorites that she looks up to, Kathy Kathy Swain that she looks up to, is the Beyonces, is the Whitney Houston's, is okay. the you know what I'm saying? Like that's what she grew up off of. So nice. I don't know what you want to I don't know what you want to call that white girl, but she's a white girl who loves black music. So well, no, you know no, what no, I mean? No, she, I mean, I mean, no I mean, she got that soul. She got that okay, soul. Okay, right. that's, that's what I'm asking. You understand that's what, what I'm, I'm saying? saying? Okay, that's she what I'm asking. She don't play. She don't even like Adele. Adele got soul too. Yeah, that's what I'm still, saying. Yeah. It still comes from a certain you know a, a certain area. My girl, my my homie, she grew up off of just listening to you know the church okay. music. I got the, you. You know what I mean? Like I living you. off I of that. You. Okay, I and, got you. And she don't play. She don't play her position 
other than what she is for real. You understand what I'm saying? She right. knows who she is, but guess what? When it's time to sing, Lord have mercy. You, if you didn't, if you never saw a picture of her, or never saw her in a video, you would not, you couldn't, you know, figure out what she was ethnicity wise. You understand what I'm saying? Like, no, 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 see, no, I got you, I got you, I got you. That. Yeah. So, that's so what, that's well, what's the plan? F the plan, yeah, I got it. my bad, I got it. And F ethnicity really don't matter when it comes to this art, and right. and you know, oh, what no, I mean, no, as long no, as you no, can, no, no, yeah, as long as you can say, as long as you, as yeah. long as you do what you do, then as long as you catch wreck, yeah, the rest of that shit is irrelevant. You get what I'm that's saying? The rest it. of that shit is secondary to, to, to what we're here for, and I think people be here for. That's why I'm supporting the situation that I'm supporting in regards to her as well, is just to let people know that, yo, music is universal. You know, it's it's not, it's 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 a universal thing, you know, and we gotta yeah. we gotta learn to accept and love, you know what I mean? That's the one thing that brings us all together. Besides we all bleed blood red, you know what I mean? Music right. brings us all together. So Absolutely. um over. The homie over at In the Field Radio, FN Radio Station, that we rock with heavy out of New York, said uh, she wants uh, to interview her. So when you're ready for that, let me know. I will you know, link the dots so y'all can make that happen. Yeah, that's the FN station up here. Actually, we got to get you on there, King. I got to I gotta link you with them. So you, I'm going I'm to I'm give them MJ so MJ could get y'all on there because that would be dope. Please That'd do. Dope. You know, That'd you know, my, 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 um, my hat is tipped all day long. You know what I'm saying? I'm ready to do whatever it takes. We got to move. I'm here to support the culture. I'm here to, you know, help every platform that's helping me. I'm with it. You know what I'm saying? And I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah so, they're they good people too over there. they real good right. people over there. So, so what's nah, the goal? The goal, the goal is to, to go with the three that you got, set the imprint, and then try to build from there? Or are you kind of looking now to, to add more to the roster so it could grow from the bottom up with you? Um, right now, I got the three. Um, they're in the studio. You know, they're finishing up albums. Now, mind you, these are these are records that's already been started prior to signing the the deal. You know what I mean? So we already had them in the works. We was already working on them, and um, I decided it's time to let the first single go now. You know, before the end of the year. So we're going to marinate on this single by my G, and let that happen while we get their albums ready, and then. Somewhere top of the year, going into the spring or whatever, you know, that's when I'm gonna start really, really probably looking for more talent. I got a couple of ARs already scouting, you know what I mean, for, for new talent. But you know, Rome wasn't built in a day, and I'm not gonna sit here and over flood anything because I can't make promises that I can't keep. So right. I figured I figured three is the magic number. You know what I mean? That I know that. If I build them up the right way, get it done, and you you know what the end result should be. The end result should be that we get the 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 major major to actually make us a major. You understand yeah. what I'm saying? Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. So yeah, you, yeah. let me. You know what's crazy is that you say you got the A and Rs, but you ain't get. There's an A and R out there that's crazy. They call them A and R wreck. Hey, this nigga go. This nigga go. <laughs> this nigga go. <laughs> Hey, this nigga go. Yo, um, you know what's you know what's dope though is that because I've seen we've seen a lot of people go to the the yo we're gonna do our label route and even even when we we started our label we spread ourselves thin and that and yeah. like and we didn't have we didn't have a platform like this just giving up the information that that's actually that we're giving up. But um, that was our downfall, and it's dope that you said, you know, you know your limit, and you know with the three that you got, you know that you could give them what they need to go The fullest attention. Absolutely, and that's so very, very important. Um, what stinks about that through our trials and tribulations is that, you know, we didn't, we, like I said, we didn't have this guidance, and because not having this guidance, you know, um, bad decisions were made, you know, friendships it was just a whole bunch of BS and nonsense, but it's life. You get what I'm saying? But um, it's it's dope that this factual. Is, yeah, no, but I'm you not. see the way you see the way I'm approaching it is because I've learned. Absolutely. You understand what I'm and saying? That's the dope part about it. No, no, no. Absolutely, absolutely. I've that's learned. how 
That's how Chris is. Chris is on some, yo, listen, I don't want to deal with no artists. I don't want to deal with no fucking artists no more. I like what we got going on. And that had to come with our experience. And he's like, yo, mm -hmm. right now ain't the time for all of that. We can't, right. like, right, like, I'm not, you I don't can't facilitate wanna... that right now. You can't facilitate and, that right especially, now. Especially I mean, if you don't want to do it, though. If you don't, if you, you know, go ahead. You know, you know what it is. You, you, you're doing a neighbor thing and you had the prior experience before. When you building something and you gotta, when you playing every part, when you playing the producer, the manager, you know, the engineer, the, or you know, making sure they go on the show, the role manager doing all that shit, and then you putting your all into somebody and you kind of like believe in them more than they believe in themselves at times, that shit becomes daunting to you. And it takes something away from you. Bullseye. It's unhealthy. Bullseye. It's unhealthy. Bullseye. And it's Bullseye. Unhealthy. That's what you are not supposed to do anymore. Yo, I yo, not to toot my own horn, but I got I got a team. You understand what I'm saying? Like, there's things that I don't even have to handle at all because right. everybody right. knows what they are supposed to be doing. And, you understand what I'm saying? And, and, I pop I pop up when I pop up, make sure that yo, is that checklist done? Did we get it right? Is yeah, yeah, yeah. Go check it. I yeah. check it and I'm out. You know what I'm saying? Because it's it's in their hands. That's nah, what they're absolutely. that's what they're assigned to do. You know what I'm saying? You we can't wear every hat. You know what I mean? We wear a lot of hats, but you know, when it comes down to this, I can't do everything. It, that's why there's positions. That's why there's you know, that's why there's 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 ways and and, and and structures for for people to climb their own ladders because yeah. you know what I mean they take on certain responsibilities and Absolutely. guess what this is what we want we want people to grow we want people to take on certain responsibilities we want that person to control and handle that so you could go and run around handling that you know what I'm yeah. saying no no so, I, yo listen no everything you said is a hundred and one percent on point because um like chris said and aaron said it gets exhausting you're you, you're gonna lose you lose before you win and that's 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 the 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 detrimental well, part that's you know, the part that saves you never you. now you never lose because any 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 loss is experience right it's what you take from it how, how you go forward and it's crazy because right. now by, by going through all that is now i'm saying Everything you say now is what I'm telling the artists now. Like, yo, listen, man, you can't do it by you. And I tell this to Shot all the time. Shot DJs, he engineers, makes beats, he produces the show. I'm like, yo, my man, you can't do it all. Oh, you can't. And we all like, we literally argue. Like, we're to the point, say, yo, fuck you. Hey, and we hang up on each other tomorrow. We call each other, like, yo, I was serious about what I said yesterday. Like, you can't. You, you know what I'm saying? True talk. And, no, yeah, no, and, absolutely. And we go back and forth. So it's, it, and I learned that over the time, which is why now I'm like, yo, listen, I'd rather get somebody who on the same mind, the mind, how we thinking, how we trying to move in the same end goal. And I always tell Shot, like, yo, listen, I don't want to get somebody to work for us. I want them to come in and be a part of it because you get so much more out of them when they think it's there. And I was on this type of mind frame before. Like, the artists, I gave them, I tried to give them a contract so where they could own the company, a part of the company. You know what I'm saying? But they were scared because they were young. So, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Everybody gets scared of signing the contract to, yeah. to be part and of it. It's like... I'm just I'm giving you the opportunity to really be on this from the ground up so we can do it all together. Has it wasn't even an artist contract. It was a business contract to own a percentage of the business. So, so that they, they don't understand. understand. They don't understand what a business contract is. You understand right, what I'm right. saying? A lot of people don't. Right. A, a good example is what we're doing right now. See, um and I'm not downplaying what y'all do as rec boys. But what I'm what I am saying is to me, y'all don't want to come up. You know what I mean? I don't care how long you've been around or not. To me, your your fresh is brand new to me. So I right. see y'all wanna come up. But as I see y'all wanna come up, I see that I had commodity with y'all. Period. So everything that I've been doing, y'all been repping. And and vice versa. You understand what I'm saying? Right. So right. it wouldn't make sense. It wouldn't make sense for, you know what? We get off the we get off the end and we go talk behind the scenes like all right what's the plan you know what I mean absolutely. What, what needs absolutely. to be what needs to be done you know what I mean and we keep it moving 
You know what I mean? It's going to look good with the three of us on the screen, right? You know what I mean? Going, no, going no, down no, the line. Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. It's, it, it's, funny, it's funny that you say that because that's that's what it is. That's that's how that's how things get done. And, and That's how it and, starts. Yeah, no, I mean, but that's how things get done. And people don't understand that. And people will be like, yo, how did you, well, how, wait, what did you guys? And then it's just like, yo, listen, man, you put in the footwork. And then at the end of the day, like-minded people are going to, they're going to blank. And then when they blank, everything keeps moving forward. So, all um, day. yo, all uh, day. real quick, we got to get to this question. When you're looking and scouting for an artist, what are you looking for? Oh, first thing, first thing foremost is originality. I don't want you coming out sounding like nobody that's out there doing the same bars, sounding the same, um, same beats. I can't take that. I don't play that. I don't, you know, I mean, there's a certain uh, genre of, of music that's out there right now that's considered, it's considered hip hop, you know, whatever. I don't know if it's fused pop, whatever it is, but yo, it got to be done right. I don't need you saying the same thing that everybody else was saying. I need you to come original, come different. You know what I mean? Yo, this is this is a vast world out here. You know, I'm sure your experience ain't exactly the same experience that the last person had. You know, or you got different experiences. You know, express some of those things that nobody even heard before. You know, my that's my thing. Like, I just don't like this cookie cutter you know, mentality that's going on right now. You know what I mean? It's, 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 it's not me. I need something that's different, something that's original, something that when you hear it, you, you're actually going to take time to think and try to figure out what the hell is it? You understand what I'm saying? And right. if you could do that, if you could think about it for a second and it got your attention and, and you're trying to figure out what it is and you're still listening, that's what I look for. Okay, you know okay. What I mean? check this out. Before uh, we got we got a question pops up, but um, check this out. The social media, how how big of a part does social media play when you're looking for artists? Like, do you check their social media? Do you go like, cause you're a boss, so you get what I'm saying? Like, like. You know, that's social because everybody's on social media nowadays. And if you're young and you're an artist, nine times out of ten, this is where you your bread and butter is at. This is where people actually come out to 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 actually this is your introduction to the world. So do I mean, you I think I think he's saying are the numbers are the numbers uh, are, I know I know exactly. Different. Well well know, not just I, well see, I don't want to say just the numbers because yo, listen, sometimes I'm Nice prime example before before this shit even got crazy. It might have been, yeah, yeah. Facebook was just popping off, but we sold the beat to a kid from down south, and he rapped, and we were just like, yo, fuck it, we got a placement, you know, and they want to buy our beat. So he sends, he does the album, he sends us the record, the record is all right. We like fuck it. He does redoes it. He sends it with his man, right? This man oh, blows him out on the track. Man. Yeah, yo, listen. So he sends us your whole blog. Yo, Chris, chill, chill. So he sends us that. He sends us, yo, listen. Yo, listen, Phantom. Listen, check it, right? He sends us the, the single to promote, right? <laughs> right? The no, single. Now, 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 now hold we, up. We talking about a uh, Hispanic guy and, and an African-American black dude. I'm going to let him tell the rest. Yo, dude, he sends us this, yo, listen, he sends us this, the single to promote with our beat. We done sold them. We done listed the beat and all that. Paperwork is done. Checks been cleared. All of this shit. Dude, it's two chicks with Confederate flag bathing suits on, a Confederate flag in the background, and it's like, yo, this is true story, dude. Like, the lease was for two years. So you get what I'm saying? Like it's done so, so, without, yeah. so so your name is on it for two years. Well, I mean, I mean, well, well, the thing is, well, the thing is, like we can take our beat back. So, but the full how, shit was how like, you y'all you already saw it. Y'all got the yeah, contract. It was a lease. It was, yeah, a, lease. It was a lease. It was a lease. We leased it to him. So he had. He oh, had, so y'all y'all gonna y'all gonna cease it to cease it? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, no. Soon as it was over, was, yeah. 
He didn't read. He didn't read. He didn't read the contract all the way through. It only gave him out of certain plays before he had to come back to see us again. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Oh, so, God. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Not yeah, because yeah, yeah. I, I, and it was crazy because this is where knowing the business helps you because I had a funny feeling about him. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm going, I checked his page and I'm seeing what he's posting and shit. So I told Shad, I'm like, yo, listen, I don't know if we want to do this, but at that time we was faced with doing something else that we needed to check for so we could. Y'all needed that bread. Out. Yeah, yeah listen, to, make a, you know, to make another move. That's yeah, it. we was we was doing the trademarking and the incorporation and all that shit. So we needed the bread, and you know the trademark that shit costs, you know, it costs money. It's so called the hustle. Go. It's right. the hustle. But I at the end of the that. day, at the end of the day, you know, I understand what y'all saying, but to to get to that to get to that point, my the three artists that I got right now, all word of mouth, all family. I don't look for no social media, nobody. Oh, I don't look dope. for none of that. That's dope. everybody. Everybody that came my way thus that's far, dope. my first artist that's coming out right now. His his mentor was my friend, my close friend. Okay. From uh, there was there was a group called IGT back in the days. They were sound to they were signed to Loud Records. All they right. were called Il Il Got Team. Um. So, so the top, the not the top, but one of the one of the main MCs from that group was my homeboy, Val, and okay. Val and Scott Free. I produced for Ill Got Team back then. You know, it was a few years back, and um, Val used to hang out with me a lot. Uh, R.I.P. Val. He passed away, but before all of that happened, before Val passed away, he brought his youngin, who he was grooming already. To the right. studio to hang to hang out with me, so Val could show him. Look, this is who I work with. This is who I fuck with. You know what I'm saying? So me and the youngin, the youngin, after Val passed away, the youngin disappeared, and we ain't see each other in years. All of a sudden, we caught up to each other, and he told me the story about being in the studio the first time with me, and all of this and the third. And I was like, "Word." So what you working on? He's like, "Man, listen." Yo, Val brought me to you for a reason, so I'm ready to, you know, spark this up again. And I'm like, uh, so what you trying to do? He said, look, just listen. I said, oh, uh, yeah. Oh, 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 you learned good from your mentor. I see. You nice. was right on point. That's nice. why he brought you to me. Next thing nice. you know, I said, come to the stool. Boom. Let's do this record. Boom. Okay, guess what? This is going to be the first single off my album, off my label. So the first, the first, you understand what I'm saying? The first song y'all recorded, uh -huh. that, that was it. The first song that you got, you got that vibe. Yeah, it was it. Wow, wow, because that's rare. You, you know, you know from going through it. Sometimes it take you might record a couple joints before you get to the one that you like. Yo, this is. I'm telling you, this was years in the making. This wasn't a right. joke. He says it. He says it in the record. He said it must be God's plan. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. His mentor, which was my best friend, one of my best friends, died. Right. And left him, left him without any guidance until he ran right. back into me. It was like, yo, this is why Val put me and you together from the yeah. beginning. Yeah. Yeah. And no, no, that, no, no, no. That's a, absolutely. That's gonna be absolutely. an ill story. That's gonna be an ill story. Watch. Let me write a book. That's gonna be an ill story. And if this record does anything that I think it's gonna do, and I mean, I'm whatever it does, I'm proud of it. And I know that, you know, just the, the, the universe lined itself up the right way. And it didn't take us no, it was no struggle to get it done. Right. It happened right. one, two, three. So when it happens liquid like that, when it's liquid like that, I go with it. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let, I let move this. with it. Are you looking? Are you looking for producers? Are you looking to sign producers to, to come part of the team, like in-house? I got, well, I'm not gonna lie, I got a team already. But okay. the door is not, the door is not closed. Like, I got, I got three brothers. They're all producers. Yes, yes, so, that, yeah, so yeah. So now you understand, now you understand what my plight was. My plight was to lead the ship. You know yeah. what I mean? And do it, yeah. do it with my family. Right, so, right, right. Per perfect example, the record that y'all gonna play uh, tonight, 
off my artist, oh Lord, I didn't uh I didn't initially produce the beat. My little brother produced the beat. You right. understand what I'm okay. saying? Okay, okay, okay. And he get, and he said, Hey, 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 check this out. And he said, Okay. And I said, I said, that's the beat. You're the artist, put it together. And what does that make me? The executive the producer. producer. I, I, absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. No, 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 no. I mean, um, so all right, well, actually, let's get into so, it. And then um we got the end of the day. Hey, I, Go ahead. You still there? Sound like he, we, he breaking up. You hear him, Chris? Yeah, no, nah, the service is, he froze up. All right, well, um, you want to get into the joint and then hopefully he comes back in? Oh, he did. There you go. Okay, 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 okay. You still there? I take questions all day. Okay, um. All right, so let's get into ahead, the Chris. joint real quick. Then we come back. Then we come back with the question. Let's play the joint real quick so we can talk about the joint as well. Yeah. Can, can, uh, can yeah, you hear no, no. Still here, y'all can hear me? Yeah, 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 yeah. you just freezing up. We got um, what we gonna do is we gonna play that that lead single, and then we are gonna come back and take another question. I'm still here. You heard me? All right, all right. You already know DJ Red Boy shot the homie Chris in the studio. This is the lead single, um, Snooze Daily. Oh Lord. You already know what it is. Let us know what you think. All right, easy. That boy going dumb again. Oh, love. Strove like Oxy. Bottle yeah. after bottle. Yeah. Uber to a short yeah. stay. Handle biz, no foreplay. Yeah. Yeah. Grip yeah. like yeah. DBI. Yeah. See big boy to whip. Chase him to where you're from. I'm something like a pimp. Less like the rascals. Don't stand me here. Hit. Back to back. Switch cheese. Your mind peak. Crime wave. No arcade. Fortnite, your heartbeat, eternal sleep. What I bring like the Reaper. Flow illmatic, rock a fella through the speaker. Snooze on a daily, pure shots like a teacup. Wing Chung the beat, it man the teacher. Reach you with the pose, send my goons the sweeper. Hip hop's boogeyman, John Wick features. Rebel to the rule, a step beyond you fool. Stones block the peace, hands frozen in time. The wrist so icy, it's my time to shine. Here we go again. Here we go again. Here we go again. Dumb again. Oh no. Here we go again. Here we go again. Yeah, that boy going dumb again. Yeah. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Hey, come again. That long ass loony with a Brooklyn swing. Yeah, Phantom on the beat. Ain't gotta trust. My brother Val on the link. Gasoline and fire. When connected for the street, this must be God's plan. The union's so unique. Boy, go to track. Make it hard like concrete. B-boy stands. Chronicles of SD. No tight jeans. I need room to breathe. Catch me sliding. Four wheels falling. Interior shows how the pocket. Yeah. Chain watch heavy like boulders Look like I'm dancing I'm brushing haters off my shoulders Road competition quick the way they get smoked up Hoped up with bad intentions I'm on one Belltown boss and my exit is 21 I'm a rough rider Rolls of others where I'm from Here we go again Here we go again yeah, boy going dumb again Oh no Here we go again Here we go again yeah, that boy going dumb again Oh no You already know what it is. DJ Red Boy shot the homie Chris in the studio. Um, damn man, he just he just he just blinked out. Hopefully we can get him back in so we can finish up this interview. But um, what you think? Nah, yo, um, it's crazy because the first artist, I thought it was Ray Corn at first. The first artist, that was crazy. Um, was crazy. I, I, I messed. With, I heard the joint. I heard the joint before the interview. So you already know I, I'm fucking with it. I like the vibe. I like the the beat is crazy. You know yeah. what I mean? I wanted to ask him, you know, if that was all original. You already know, but I'm 100 percent sure it probably is. You know what I mean? So actually, let me text him real quick. Let me text him. Let me text yeah, him. um, and I'm gonna see what's up. Yo, I'm telling you, yo, get in tune with Chris. Chris got the plug for all the interviews, my nigga. You over there playing. That nigga might you you never know. You never know. He might put you in the right hands. We got up. Oh, nah, he's coming back. He's coming back. He just pulled up. I got him. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Was it something I said? What the hell? 
I don't know. I, I have no idea. <laughs> but um, listen, oh Lord, oh yeah, Lord. Yeah, we just we, we just played the joint. We was just talking about it. I was selling shout. I'm like, yo, at first when when it first came on, I'm like, yo, that's way Quan. Like his voice is distinctive. Like. Yeah, he, he got one of those good voices. He's his slang, he got that real drag slang, you know what I mean? He's from Long Island. That's my man Snooze. You know, we call him Snooze Daily. Um and, listen, nah, he um I like the feel. I like the feel. It's not no no no, it's it's not um it's new, but it's not it's not it's nothing of what's going on now. So you get what I'm saying? Nah, it's, and, um, it's, it's dope. It's refreshing. It's definitely refreshing. You know, um, it's and, made and, to cut. It's, it's made to cut through. No, no, no. Absolutely. It's made to no, cut no, no, through. Absolutely. absolutely, absolutely. Not only that, and um, so baby bro did the beat, huh? Yeah, my my little brother did that. You know what I mean? That's but what my little brother, yeah. he he's a fan already. He's a fan of hip hop. You know what I'm saying? Right. No, no. And, you can uh, tell in the work. You can tell in the work. You can, you can tell. You can tell. No, 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 absolutely. And, and all I do is I go in when it's time to mix it and make it sound bump. You know what I mean? Whatever they don't know, you know what I mean? I implement what, what needs to be done. You know what I mean? To make sure that it comes out, you know, as best as possible. But Yo, um, doesn't it doesn't it feel great to go in and just executive produce? Uh like this is like yeah. this is this, like to work up to this, to actually have enough confidence in everybody and to be like, yo, listen. All right, yo, listen, when I come back, I need I need these four to work on because I only got a certain amount of time. So I need y'all yep. to do all of all of all of this shit needs to be done so that all I gotta do is put my secret sauce on it and then we can start shipping these shits out. And it's dope to actually have you know it's dope to you know have what feels that. Better? What's that? It, it, to to have the people that know how to do that. That's what I'm saying. It, no, that's in, in your that's corner. You know what I'm saying, dope, yeah. man. No, that's when you yeah. know, like, yo, you can rest easy, dude. Like, and and you know what's crazy, and um, but it's stages because you have to be that person first before you can be the person who has, who overlooks those people doing it. You get what I'm saying? So it's yeah. like you had to go through what you had to go. You had to be the one. Who had to make sure everything else was make sure everything else was tight so that whoever else was coming in and executive produce could come in and do what they do. Even though, even though, especially at the time that you felt it, it was like, yo, listen, I got it. But yo, listen, this is what I need you to do. You get what I'm saying? So you perfected that. So now to move on is super dope. I had I had one of my most challenging experiences, and not that. I, I never, you know, been through situations like this before on a different level. But with with Snooze, they they already shot the video and all of that, right? Right. And I had the the most difficult, uh, you know, the, the most challenge challenging situation where I had to tell them, nope, not for this song. That is not the video. Mm -hmm. And it's all shot and done and ready to go. No. Edited and everything. They're ready to, yo, dude, they're ready to hit send. They're ready to hit send. And you got to be like, nah, that's not going out. That's not going nowhere. We're going to yeah. reshoot the video. Yeah. And I'm going to show you, you know, put you with the right people to shoot the video. Just because they're your homies and all of that. And, you know, you want them on and this, that, and the third. If they don't got the skill and the technique, not to mention to, to to be on the same level that your record is on, then right. that can't be. You can't come out right. with a lackluster video and your record is a, you know what I mean? It's a plug. Your record is something that's so different. You got to make that yeah. video, you know what I mean, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, resonate absolutely. that. Absolutely. It got to resonate that because this ain't no easy task right now. This ain't an easy task. So what we're trying to do it has to have some substantial backing behind it. It got to look the right way in order to in order to convince the people. You to get the full effect. 
to get the full effect. You can't you can't go in and watch a 3D movie if you ain't got the glasses because the shit gonna yeah. look stupid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It ain't gonna it work. Don't make no sense to you. Yeah, yeah, no, no, absolutely. Um, real quick, we got a question. Who was your favorite artist to work with? Uh, my favorite artist to work with was yeah. actually Buster. Buster. He was my favorite artist to work with. Buster's funny. He's hilarious. You know, he's mad energetic. Um, but even beyond Buster, I mean, I got a couple of them. Like Ghost, that's my homie. You know what I'm saying? Yo, yo, but, I, 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 would pay, I would pay to see that one. Because Ghost is, Ghost is a different type of character. Like, yeah, like Ghost, I mean, uh, yeah, yeah. Ghost is Ghost is 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 a like he's his own being, dude. Like, so you got to give Ghost his space, and he's like, he's yeah. I could just imagine that one, dude. And Buster, I mean, dude. wow, Ghost. But Ghost, remember us? Ghost is just you know, Mister Cole's on the first floor while I'm on the third floor. You understand what I'm saying? Growing up, so yeah, 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 like, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. So yeah, I, yeah. but I, yo, I even know. then. <laughs> but even then, but even then, like, 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 yo, let's just keep it a buck. Yeah, he, he still Most, was that character in the street. That's he what I'm saying. Like, that. yo, like, like, you would still be like, yeah, this nigga is bugging my right now. Yo, 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 yeah, let's spread so that. Yeah, let's spread that. I'm like, what? Oh, come <laughs> on, man. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Um, is there an artist that you passed on that you regret? Shit, I never passed on no artist. I I was always trying to get the check. I was nice, trying to get a check. What nice. artist? Who, who am I gonna pass on when there's a check there? You never yeah. pass on no artist. But yeah, uh, I'm not, not none that I regret. Um, nice, you know those nice. those 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 artists that think they know it all and 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 they ain't nowhere yet and they want to try to tell you what to do. And not really, you know, surface your resume to the top and say, "Oh, I respect who you are as a producer," but they want right. to tell you, "Ah, uh, you ain't on point. Ah, uh, you don't know. Yo, let me do it like this." And I'm like, "Eh, nah, I passed on those." But you know, they ain't have nothing to offer me. At the end of the day, I was gonna make their fucking dream come true. Yeah, Yo, so I, I just hold on. I just had I just had like a memory come back. Like I remember. So we had this engineer, right? And he graduated from, from Full Sail. He had his degree, all that shit. And, you know, he knew what he was doing. The engineering, making beats and all that shit. And me, I'm just a kid from, from Brooklyn, you know, mess with, mess with Fruity Loops here and there, mess with Reason. I produced, did a couple, had a couple placements with Shad and shit. So we sit in the studio, right? And they recording and shit. And they doing their thing. And I'm like, yo, that shit don't sound right, right? So the kid turns around. He's like, what you mean? I'm like, yo, it just don't, something about it. I don't know how to go there on the board and do it. But I could tell you what I what it should sound like, right? Sonically is not all right. Looking at me, right? Shot all them looking at me like, yo, what the fuck? And I'm like, nah, yo, like that's not it. I don't care what you pay for your degree, the two hundred, three hundred thousand dollars. That shit, that shit don't sound right. So I'm sitting there and I'm telling him, yo, and I'm making sounds and shit like, yo, do this, uh, and he looking at me like I'm crying, like, yo, just do it. So <laughs> everybody, everybody in the studio like, yo, this motherfucker on his diddy shit, but they did it. And after they did it, he and then the they found out. Yo, oh, he like, yo, that was it. And I'm like, yo, I don't know how to do this shit, but I know how that shit should sound. Like, I got the ear for that shit. You know what I'm saying? So, how many times has that happened to you? Where you sitting there and they think they got the whole thing, and you come in and you like, and you just might press one or two motherfucking buttons, and that shit change everything. And you like, nah, this is it now. I do it all the time. Word is born. <laughs> no, no, no. no we're word talk, it, we're word yeah. it, real talk. Word is born. I do it all the time. I come what? in, I listen to it, and I say, "Well, see, I know the terminology, so I'm, okay, I'm good yeah, with the yeah, terminology." Yeah, 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 yeah. So <laughs> when I tell them to raise up, you know what I mean? Give me like two dBs, blah blah blah. This, that, and the third. Yo, drop the snare, pan it to the, you know what I mean? Or you know, terminology yeah, yeah, is yeah, is kind yeah. of is very important. You know what I'm saying? But at the no, end of it, I ain't know none of that. Once you, I ain't once you do I ain't that, know none of it. I, I look I like a fucking clown. <laughs> you should have seen. Nah, me. <laughs> you you was doing you was doing sound effects, right? 
Look, yeah, look, was look, he? <laughs> was he? That nigga looked like he was having a seizure. I've been smoking, hitting the blunt. Like this nigga was. We look at. I'm like. I'm look. I looked at him and I'm like, yeah, all right. I'm put my headphones and get back to whatever I was doing over here. But go ahead. Yo, at the end of the day, when 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 you know what you're talking about and and you made that music, you know what it's supposed to sound like. You know what I mean? That's why I have strong objectives to letting other engineers mix my mix, mix my record when I'm not around. You understand what I'm saying? Because what if you don't want your snare to sound thin? What if you want your snare to sound fat? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What yeah. if you want your kick to sound big and, and wide? And then yeah. they make it sound puny and tight. You know what I mean? That's not the way the beat was supposed to be sounding. You understand yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah. anybody anybody can mix a record, but they only mixing it through through their ears, not the way that you wanted it to sound. So Absolutely. that's another thing people gotta understand. I could take the same, I could mix the same record that you mix, and my mix will come out way different than yours. You know what I'm no, saying? No, right. We, we've had it done and certain times sometimes we send every certain things we send out because you know um we get ear fatigue because we're also making the beat so what sounds dope to us we need a new clean fresh pair of ears and in certain things we just not good at mixing like we just well won't. if you could if you could if you could express that and you could say that then yeah. you're a true producer as well still you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, that's no, no, when you I'm... that's when you learn to say, okay, this is it the part that I need to be doing right now. Absolutely. Let them do that. You understand what I'm yeah. saying? Absolutely. And at the yeah. at the end of the day, you're still an executive because you called that shot. No, no, no. I mean, I mean, yo, listen, my, my whole thing is um I'm very possessive of of our work. So I don't really mm-hmm. you get what I'm saying, but I've learned to be like, yo, listen, um, it's not about being possessive. It's about getting the best sound. It's about bringing your shit to the full extent to where you need it to be at. And if you care, if you need a ladder or you need somebody else to to, to go ahead to give you that boost, it's it then you need it. Like my my heart was broken a long time ago as a producer by my own engineer. So after after the nigga who who you love your your teammate breaks your heart anything other than that I can get to I can care too less about you, can you get know over. what I'm saying yeah 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 I'm I'm good with it you know what I'm saying just mix my shit that's why I, that's why I go yeah case in point you know what fucks people point. up you know you know what fucks people up when they like when they hear something that we like matter of fact I'm gonna say I haven't never sent you nothing that we made I'm gonna send you a joint just so you can hear mm-hmm. it so you can see where we at with it but um. We we every joint we made we play for people right and they're like yo who made this shit we like we did they're, and they're like oh, okay first time they hear that they're like okay who made this shit we did and then finally we gotta tell you everything you hear tonight we did like you know what I'm saying yeah. not one mm. beat did mm. he do dolo or I did dolo he does yeah. some shit we, yeah we, it's me. all collective I do thing shit, yeah we're sending it back and then at some point we had our artists who play the piano. When we like, all right, yeah, uh-huh. listen, we did everything. Now we just want you to go do the melody on it. You know what I'm saying? He'll go mm-hmm. do the melody, and then we'll take we'll take his shit and chop his shit the fuck up, and then come back and get it. And, and, like, yo, yep. what you did? And we like listen to that shit. He like, yo, that shit sound crazy. And then he go in the booth, and then he do like, what you know he do. What yeah, yeah, yep. yeah. That sound like a that sound like a track masters. Yeah, yeah you listen, know, there's, um, there's, there's a there's there was a squad. You know what I mean? It's a squad. It, it don't yo, it, it, it it ain't just one. Sometimes no. it's Three or four, you know what I mean? Sometimes it's more than that. You seen what Puff did? <laughs> oh, Puff had well, Puff had Puff had junior varsity, varsity. Yeah, 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 yeah. Puff had all, all, of them. everybody lined up. But I wanted to get to a point. I wanted to get to the point, uh, Shaw, that you was talking about. And that was um like I just did a record with um Jojo Pellegrino, right? And okay. um I didn't now here's 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 that case right on right on deck. I didn't mix the record, right? You know why? Because JoJo's album was done. The record that I gave him was the final record for his album that right. made it, and it's one of the the hottest records on the album. Get ready to come out. So 
the whole feel of the album has to be consistent. Yeah, so you so let that's them go why, ahead. Yeah. That's why you let the engineer who mixed the album album because it has to sound. But a lot of people it. don't understand that. A lot of a lot, and that's a good fucking point because a lot of people don't understand that they'll go out and they'll get different records and everything is mixed and then they'll all submit it together and then that's why you like yo yeah and then that's why you like yo listen damn why this one sound good and this one sounds like yo the mix was Uh, horrible yeah yeah no 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 so so that's when you that's when you give up your mixing rights because you give them the basics you let them know what you want it to feel like you know what i mean but they gotta make it uh, solid and Sick. cohesive, yeah, and, yeah. cohesive and flow, with the rest of the album. With the rest, yeah. So you can't just have something to where it's just out of control, doesn't fit with that, even... that structure. Yeah, no, 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 absolutely, absolutely, exactly. No, no, no. And so, that's a good point. That's a very good point. Has, let me so ask you understand? Where's, where's the final place you go to, to to check if your mix is right? So, like for me, it was always the car. I would go to the car, put it in the car. If that joint hit right in the car, then I would go after the car. I would go to to the stereo. You know what I mean? And then I would check the levels. Where's your place that you go to to make sure, all right? This this mix is it. Besides the studio, because you know you got to hear it in other places, so you know it's it's right. Where, where's the place you like to go? Uh, to my little black bowls. Okay. Nice, nice, right, nice. right okay. there. All right, right All there. Right. I, I I keep it I keep it on deck. Whenever I'm listening to anything, I listen through here first. I listen through the bowls. You know what I mean? Because this this is supposed to be the you know the the society's best sound. You know what I mean? When you can't afford a studio or whatever, whatever. This is supposed to be the the piece that when you have it in your home, this gives you the best sound. You know what I mean? So right. I just I just I rely on my little bowls. If it's popping in there, you know what I mean. I'm I'm kind of happy, you know. If you then can I, feel it, I, if you can feel it, if you can feel it, yeah, do that. Then you're good. Then then you know yeah, it's it's solid. I'm good. All right, all right. Feeling it, Not feeling it, and hearing every. I need to hear every nuance. Like, yeah, yeah, you know no, you, no, absolutely. You yeah, know how you you, you know how you pan little things over here and. Pan little things over you there. Need to hear, you need to hear each one. You of need those to hear all those little there. things. Yeah, yeah. Hit exactly that, the way you wanted to hit. That's dope. That's what that's does dope. it for me. Okay. Now, that's a Jew. That's a Jew. That's a Jew. We just touched on right because I hear a lot of music, and I'm sure you do too. When you hear a lot of music, and you might hear it, let's say on your studio speakers, you know, Yo, man, this joint sounds good. So then all of a sudden you download it, you go to Apple, you get the song, you put it on, and you play it in the car, and you're like, "Yo, damn, this shit sounds." Horrible, like trash. You know what I mean? that, Caraca that shit is my yeah. Like that shit to me is the worst. I like I I know I know a couple of engineers that where it don't matter where the fuck I hear they shit at they should sound the same across the board. You know what I mean? And yeah. I think the artists they get lost in today's day to where they're the type who's doing everything. You know what I mean? And they they should just and that that will make them lose a fan or or a potential you know supporter. You know, and so shit's gonna make them lose a spin because nobody's gonna want right. to even listen to it, dude. Like, I mean, and that's right. that's the thing that turns me off in the gate. I don't give a fuck what you're rapping about. I don't care if the beat not. If I can't stand to listen to it, I'm not even gonna give you a shot. I don't. I probably won't even listen to it again. You get what I'm well, saying? Watch because this. professional, right. profession, professional engineers. You know what I mean? Real good professional engineers. They have a template. And they have a boundary. They have a maximum. And, you know, they got a maximum, yeah, yeah. a minimum that they stay within. You know and what I mean? Stay, and they yeah. know they know when you cut right in there, that sound is going to carry anywhere and everywhere. And it's going to be the same. But right. they, know how to, they know how to tweak those numbers. You understand what I'm saying? This is science. This is math. People don't understand that. It's not just... Moving the knob and no, we know that if we put it on 0.5 and then you put this on 1.0, this won't cancel that out. So this way, the sound that we're looking for is going to squeeze through and it's going to be there. Leave that locked in. Done. Next one. You understand what I'm saying? This is a this is a scientific game. This is a mathematical game. 
And you know what's crazy is that you're the first producer that I've ever heard say that, and that is so fucking true. Like people don't understand. People think that super producers and and these guys that that make these records are like God blessed with some crazy ass futuristic talent. But a lot of it is science, and a lot and and, and if you like math and understand that's the, the science. Math, that's the science. Like, yo, listen, like it all makes sense. You just got to know the <laughs> formula to do it. And then once then, you know that, then you can get freaky with it. Then you can say, why? okay. Then we uh, learn formulas. Then we learn formulas growing up. Then we learn formulas in school. Absolutely. It, it, all, it all applies. It all Same applies. Shit. But you know what, though? It's not, it's never, it's never fed to us like that. You get what I'm saying? It's and, and that's and that's and this is a something for a whole different conversation. But that's we need to change up how how we how we're presenting it because if yeah. we, if we if we change how we present it, then we can get a we can attract more of the youth because that was yeah. my thing. There was no there was no there there was nothing exciting about nothing about, about it. There was nothing exciting yeah. about it. Yeah, but, and even. And even then, like I've always DJed, and people are like, yo, get into producing, get into producing, and nobody could tell me why. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, but you, I'm like, but you, but you know why? Because you was blending all those records, and if you could blend records like that, and, and, and that's drop, what they were saying. But nobody like, could tell me that. Nobody could tell me. Nobody <laughs> could say, yo, listen, no. What you need to do is concentrate on making your own beat. So that now you can get other, but nobody ever told me that. They were just like, nah, you should just make beats. They weren't, they weren't like, yo, listen, yo, you ever fuck with an NPC? Yo, you ever think about doing this? You ever think about uh, blending two beats together and then throwing on another it. artist on top of it? Like nobody ever, they just said, yo, you should just produce. So it's just like, yo, it's like telling the kid, yo, you're 6'5", you should play basketball and give him a soccer ball. Or don't get like, like no. I mean, I mean, because that's how it was. It was like, yo, listen, all right, you know that I'm good because you know you see my movement, you see, you see what I'm putting together. But nobody is pointing me. But to explain the... it to me. Yeah, yeah. So Ex I'm... explain it. But yo, I'm not. Y'all know y'all fam. I ain't cutting y'all short. But no, I'm already listen. Getting, I'm getting. They're hitting me on the jack right now. I got. I gotta, um, listen, y'all got. Well, y'all got. Y'all got the math all day. So y'all know where I'm at. Um, and yeah, I want to. I will. I'm gonna plug in again. Let Go everybody ahead. know what sure. time it is. So Go yo, ahead. like I said, when MJ points that red dot, you know what I mean on the rec boys. I'm messing with the rec boys all day long. Yo, I'm Haas G, Phantom of the Beat, Heat for the Street. Y'all can find me at IG on Phantom of the Beat. IG at Phantom of the Beat. Pardon me. That's Phantom with an F. F A N T O M of the beat and it's the same thing on instagram uh 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 facebook uh uh google uh whatever man just just go look it up you know what i mean we got hits for days we had hits for days and we got we about to have new hits for days just get ready check out that new label phantom music that's all one word f-a-n-t-o-m-u-s-i-c uh, first launch was today by my man Snooze Daily, produced by my little brother, Big Slizzo. You know what I mean? On that Phantom Music label. Shout out to Quasi. Shout out to Mike Hands. Shout out to MJ. Uh, Red Boys, Shaw, Chris. Y'all know what time it is. We here all day, every day. Yo, let's keep it going. Keep it moving. All right, all right, all right. Yo, yeah, man, hold on, hold on, safe. hold on. Hold on, right. Shaw. Real quick, real quick. I heard you say Mike Hands, and I meant to ask you this. Mike Hands is part of the team? You can just say yes or no and then dip. Yeah. Nice. Nice. That's my dude. Salute to him, too, because I know what he's been battling the last couple of years. You know what I mean? So salute to him. Uh, we that's my partner. Know, we'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. That's, that's my that's partner. partner. Yeah. Oh, no. That's dope. Okay. Okay. Yeah. But, so, yeah, you may know. I'm going to hit you up. Uh, we definitely going to be in contact. We always, we've been in contact for a minute. And, uh, you know, we, we build from there, okay? My Gs, just, just keep a lookout and have no worries. I'm here. You already, um, yeah, you already know we're gonna listen. It's gonna be us three again, so till next time, homie. All right, love.
Yo, they're gonna have to pick us up for a real big syndicated show. I'm telling you. <laughs> yo, I know the three. Listen, of, the three. <laughs> yo, listen, listen, yo, sh- yo, listen. We working on it. We working on it. We working on it. But yo, listen. Yo, we tell, love you. Hold on. Tell your homie. But, tell your homie Rob to stop playing with us, man. Tell your homie Rob to stop playing with us and make that happen. You know who I'm talking about. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Yeah. All right, all right. Oh, all right, okay. Homie. Okay. okay. I, I got you now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yo, let's say, yo, let me start playing. Let's, let's make that happen over there. All right, let's go. You, you know right, you know okay. I'm in there already. One. Uh, yeah, one, yeah, no, easy. No, all right, one. Nah, yeah, that was a uh, dope, dope-ass interview. Like I said, we don't usually go in on Friday, but when we do, it is a treat for you and us both uh Phantom of the Beat, cool dude. Make sure you check him out. Uh, dude, I want to invite to the fucking the Loft Studio, dude. I just gotta, I just gotta nah, we, figure we out. We got the invite. We got no, the but invite. I got. You wanna, if you want to pop up, you let me know. I, was I like, might. That make that. Yeah, happen. I might want to pop me, up. For me, it was this. It was this whole. You know, this whole fucking what's going on right now, man. Like, listen, we we we've been invited multiple places. You know, what I'm saying that. Yeah, I know it's crazy. Right now, it, it stops the movements and shit. But um, you know, so yeah, he's been on three times. You know what I mean? We're gonna um, we're gonna uh, we're gonna have him on multiple more times. We're gonna get his artists on here. Um, I'm definitely interested to hear the the show out of Ohio. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, absolutely. To see, you know, because like it's different. When, yeah, you can say somebody sing, but when they sing, you know what I'm saying? That's that's. That's some other shit right there. Yeah, no, no, no. He compared her to Adele and Amy Winehouse, my nigga. I want to hear her. I'm definitely, yeah. I'm definitely, well, we going to get all the music anyway. So, you know, MJ, MJ flood the, flood the email with all types of music. So, um, no, nah, it was definitely a good but, show. Way to start the know. weekend off. What? I'm trying to see who we got next week. Let me see here real quick. Cause, uh. Last week, that's that's one thing. Real quick, I know this ain't a Wednesday night where we normally talk that shit, but um, listen, man, if you book an interview, you book an interview. You know what I mean? Don't, don't waste my time. I ain't got time to waste. Time is the one thing I'm never going to get the fuck back. So don't play with my time. You know what I'm saying? You artists out there, you producers, you actors, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Don't play with my time. You know what I mean? So if you say you're going to do something, do it. You know what I mean? We got, we got Grammy Award winning producers. We got fucking... Actors who got nominated for a bunch of shit, book authors who 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 have been in this game for years, 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 who are legends who keep their word. You know what I mean? So if you were up and coming artist, I expect you to do the same. So if you say you're gonna do something, do it. You know what I mean? Um, so with that all said, I don't even know what today today the twentieth. Uh, oh, we going to December. I'm gonna hold that because we got something coming. We got we pretty much booked to January. You know what I'm saying? But every time I start saying their names, they start backing out. And, Yo, what you know, we got next week? You gonna hit me? Yeah, yeah, no, nah, I'm gonna hit you. I'm gonna hit you. I'm gonna All right, because you, um, because we're definitely we getting close to premiering our new look, and and the, and the new things that we got we got lined up. I don't know if we might wait to the new year. You know, I was I actually, got, I was actually, you I'm know, kind of looking dope, dude. I got my my Philly green with the, you know, that shit. My bad. Go ahead. No, nah, I was gonna say, cause I got I got the green on too. I ain't got no Philly green, but I got the olive. Yeah, nah, nah, I got uh, the Philly up, green, the dirty birds. Still, you know, Ooh, kill em. We got the merch. We got the merch on deck. We got the sweaters, all that. We got a uh, bunch of other stuff coming out as well. So make sure y'all hit us up. But um, we booked all the way to the end of January. You know what I'm saying? Is now it's just a matter of fact if everybody keep their word and going, we will head forward. The one that I'm excited about that I've been trying to get for a minute is the homie George Zilla, who actually got the homie Armadeus on the show tonight. IG live. It actually started at eight o'clock. I'm gonna get off of here, go right over there and check them out. So uh the homie Joe Zilla got on the dance on tonight. You know what I mean? Nice, like, nice, about, nice. We got Zilla coming on the end of January. You know what I mean? Even him, he like, yo, I wanna, you know, I'm, I got some time. What's up? And I'm like, yo, we got, you know, this is the date. He like, damn, all the way over there. I'm like, yeah, yo, like it's been clicking, you know what I mean? Uh, a lot of people trying to book these interviews. So definitely take advantage. And um, you know, we got the conglomerate, you know what I'm saying? So Y'all come here, you know, we could pop, possibly link you to three, four of the interviews, you know? No, 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 absolutely, absolutely. You know We're going to make sure that Phantom go over there and check um, Aaron Boogie and Lady D over in, in the field. And, um, you know, maybe we can swing them over. I don't I don't know Aunt, how, how we can do it over there because, you know, we do the virtual thing. But um, whatever, whatever we can throw your way, man, you already know. But, yo, let us hit us up. But, 
That's for any up. artist, though, too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Even independent artists. Up. You know what I mean? Y'all trying, yeah, to, y'all trying to do a, a media tour. You know what I mean? If you will, you know what I mean? Independent media tour. We could definitely. Cause, yeah, yeah. Like, we yo, can let listen, you with some shows had, and get you We just had Finally TV. What we talking about podcasts. We had Too Humble. We had really Independent honest. Radio. We're brutally honest. And we know others. Uh, Speaking Loud podcast. My homie Lewis out there in Dallas, Florida. We got the homie Joe Zilla out in there. Like, you know what I mean? So it could be it could be something for you all. Yo, dude, we, we even got a Juice. As in. Juice and them got a podcast too. Juice. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. See, I, yeah, see, yeah. I don't know the yeah. little homie, and, and yeah. that's the crazy part is, I don't, I don't know them. You know what I'm saying? So I haven't been up on them like that. You know what I mean? Like I really, like when I tell you, I'm big on bigging my people up, and what I mean by that is the ones I know. Not saying I'm not looking for other stuff, but it takes somebody I know to show me the other stuff, so then it, it intrigues me. You know what I mean? Same thing with the music. Like, and I hope. When you a supporter of a, of a certain artist, a producer, actor, clothing line, whatever, if you you know supporting these people, you're telling other people about them as well. You know what I'm saying? Right. And that's how that's how I find out about Finally TV. That's how I find out about Brutally Honest, In the Field Radio, Too Humble. Other people told me about them. You know what I'm saying? So and within them telling me, yo, they fuck with them and they listen to this, and I'm like, all right, let me check it out. My I trust it, their work. So then I go press play, and it treats me. I become a fan. I become a supporter. You know, years down the road now, we supporting each other. We bringing them on our show. We go on their show. You know, we show love, and we just make the movements as a whole, you know, a, a vibe that is, you know, that can't be reckoned with. Absolutely. But well, um, that is our time for tonight. Um, we're going to try to send this out. I don't know how Chris is going to do this. This is live on YouTube, Facebook. So we'll figure it out. Um, if you guys want to check the replay, make sure you hit the pages. But that is our time for tonight. And um, yo, listen, we'll see you guys Wednesday. All right? We out. Easy. Deuces. You guys have a good night, all right?